Welcome Borough fans, aka best fans in the world, we all know that. Review preview show, I'm Mr Fox, L Fox, Mr Fox, whatever you want to call me by now. That's Rob, are you Rob? You all right? Yes, very positive, I think we all are. So we've had three big wins in a week. Leeds, Bermo and obviously Barnsley. You may not say these are big teams, we all thought the Leeds game was going to be a massive game but we steamrolled them. But we can only beat who we put in front of us. So we'll have a chat about Barnsley and then we're going to have a quick preview about Brentford. Give you the nuts and bolts about their team, who we need to look out for. Okay, Barnsley, great start. Ayala, first two minutes. Long throw from Shotton. Ball gets turned over again. Good delivery from Triore. Little volley, cheeky volley. That puts his tally up now to four, I think, for Ayala. Very impressed with that. He kept him up front when he took the long throw. He didn't bother going back and he finished. So, that's a great start. Not, for, not long after that, we have a Triore finish. We said every superlative we need to say about this guy. But what I will say again is, he's lethal, isn't he? He's like a Formula One car. Not to Triore in literally 1.367 seconds. He's lethal. Somebody needs to change his boots and have a pit stop, I think. But even then, that wouldn't slow him down. He's cutting again. Taken three people out the game and finished in the bottom corner. I don't think the keeper could have done much about it. I don't think any keeper can do much about anything he does. When he starts, this guy, he starts. He's like a firework. But we all know that. Game went on. Third goal. Second half. Bamford. Good delivery off Downing again. Some real good deliveries in the game in general. We're getting the ball and we're making width with the pitch, which I'm a big believer in. I like to have width as long as I keep the ball as well. We like the possession side of things, but I like this width. Down in some great deliveries. As I say, he's been doing that quite a lot recently, but it was his corner, whipped it in, off Bamford's knee. We don't care. I really don't care where he scores now because the guy's proved how much of a good finisher he is. Whether it comes off his knee, his ankle, his elbow, another part of his body that you might want to mention. I don't care. The guy's a real good finisher. Can we keep hold of him? That's something we need to maybe have a little discussion. Right in, guys. Is he a, is he a player for the future for us? Let's hope he is, no matter what league we're in next season. The game as a whole, well, they got back into it slightly. We, we have this habit now of kind of sitting back. We've won four in a row at home now under Tony Pulis. We're kind of making a riverside a fortress now, which is what we need to be doing if we've got any real sort of substantial chance of going up in the playoffs. We need a good home record because whoever we play at home, we're going to need to turn over, whether it's Villa or Fulham. I think it would be probably one of those two. Both two teams I don't want to play, but who are you going to get in the playoffs that you do, that you do want to play? Derby, maybe? I don't know. Again, that's, some, that's a talking point for us. I like the fact that we do score three goals quite a lot now. And I also think that maybe that's this little symptom now that we feel like we can sit back. I would like us, like us to have kept sort of pedal to the metal all the way through that game and put five or six past this team. There was no reason, and I am not exaggerating here, there's no reason at all why we couldn't have scored that many goals. We had plenty of chances in the game. Moore scored for them late on, they hit the post late on. Couple of good saves from Randolph. People, I've heard people sort of talking about Randolph as if they don't really rate the guy, but I think that's a little bit of harsh criticism. I think he's a good, solid keeper. He is a good shot stopper. The one thing that I did notice again was we do have a lot of space between the back four and the, and, and the two midfielders. Bezic has looked brilliant. Every game Bezic plays is a fantastic performance. He's improving and he's definitely lifted that team. As I've mentioned, Downing, quality ball into the box is brilliant. He's linking up well with everybody else. He seems to be really coming into his own now because there is a good player there and he's proving that and that's all we've wanted. All we've wanted from a, from a, a Middlesbrough team this season is somebody to neutralise the footballers we've got in that team and that's starting to kind of happen now. But it finished 3-1. Right at the end, Triore has had a chance. Again, he's skinned 83 people. He's took everybody on. He didn't even stop at the traffic lights where there was roadworks. He just went straight down the A19, overtook about 40 cars, got himself back to the riverside, skinned everybody and should have squared it at Lewis Baker, but he didn't. He had a shot. I'm, I'm not quite kind of not bothered that he was selfish. If we'd have been 1-0 up or 0-0, he should have definitely squared that ball. But it's hindsight. It's a wonderful word. But we weren't. We were already 3-1 up. But I would have liked to see Lewis Baker get off the sheet. So, as it is, we've got Brentford tomorrow. Another difficult game. We've kept ourselves sort of treading water, I feel. We've got Sheffield United coming up. We've got Wolves coming up. We've got Derby coming up. Sheffield United away. We've got uh, Derby away. We've got Nottingham Forest at home. We've got Wolves at home. In no particular order there, guys. So don't write in. We've got the international break coming up and I feel like we're going to go into that positive tomorrow with, a, with, with another good win. I feel there's no reason why we can't go to Brentford and get another good win. 
So Brentford, let's sort of pick them to pieces a little bit. Their season's actually over now. Um, they've been beaten twice this week. Millwall last Saturday 1-0, which to be fair was quite a harsh result. They scored, defender slipped and they scored. But then they played Cardiff at home this week, also midweek, and got beat 3-1, which pretty much puts their season, not mathematically, but I would suggest the other teams that are above them, it's going to be difficult for them to catch them. Preston, Sheffield United, us, Bristol City. But that don't let don't rest on your laurels, Borough fans. Don't think that we're going to go there and that's going to be an easy game. We're going to steamroll of these because as we know how fickle football is, sometimes just because the team hasn't got anything left with the season doesn't mean that they're not actually going to put a performance up. I think they'd like to probably get a decent performance. We've got a good record at Griffin Park. We drew two all with them early on in the season under Monk. Don't really count that. But we have got a decent record there. Obviously, the playoffs uh, a few years ago under Karanka, we took them to pieces really in both legs. So there's nothing for us to fear, but again, we can't take it lightly. Like I said, they've been beaten twice in a week, so they're probably going to want to put up some sort of performance. Danger men, Watkins, Malpai, that's a vibe, decent player. Canos, Sawyers, decent players. Watkins is the one to watch for me. Uh, young kid, 22 I think he is, English, 21-22. He's in a kind of similar route to a Triori, but I'm stretching that. I'm really stretching that. He's the type of player that likes to glide, ga, uh, glide past people. Easy for me to say. Both footed, talented kid, likes to take the free kicks. Very good set piece taker, likes to shoot on sight. But he also, like I say, likes to beat a man. But it's nothing for us to really concern ourselves about. This is a game, actually, that would probably suit us sitting back and breaking these down on the counter-attack. They like to play 4-2-3-1. They do like to keep hold of the ball. They do like to play with width. They like to play with Watkins outside, like I say, maybe Canos on the other side. Uh, Jalfasu may play for them, but he may be injured. He's a really talented player. He's got six goals this season. I think he's got four or five assists too. He may be injured, we're not sure, but talented player. They like to play with the fullbacks getting forward. Barbet on one side, Dalsgaard on the other. These are two also fullbacks that like to cross the ball and like to get forward. So these are going to be people for... Shotton, friend to watch, Bezic to maybe sit back a little bit more, maybe Leb Boots if he plays, I'm not sure, it may be Clayton, but Traor is going to need and Downing's going to need to get up and down these touch lines and look after these because they will come at us. Like I say, Watkins will play out one, on one side, attack him in field left, or maybe right. Canos on the other side, maybe, again, uh, or maybe last survive, I'm not sure, but they will get up and down the flanks, so we really need to be kind of uh, vigilant because... It's very easy for us to leave space in between, as we've said about the Barnsley game. It's very easy for that space to be in between our back four and midfield. We don't need that. We need to be consultinaed up and we need to keep it sort of a couple of yards between the back four and the two sort of defending midfielders or the two holding midfielders, whether whoever that is in there. Maybe Housen might play in there also, but we need to keep a real tight line there. We don't want them getting in behind us. They do like to play, like I say, with possession. They're not really a long ball team. They're not really a team that kind of wants to play balls over the top. Although, from their point of view and from our point of view, they do like to play the offside trap. They will try to defend high. I don't know whether that'll be the case against us because obviously we've got pace in the team. You know, we've got the Death Star, Traore, who, as I've mentioned in the, in the, in the uh, review of the Barnsley game, without kind of being crass about this, the guy's lethal. His pace is just, it's just simply overwhelming for most defenders in this league. But as we saw against Birmingham, he can get shut out the game. Um, but, you know, without digressing too much again on Traore, he still can do something in, 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 in a 10 second, 20 second spell. So he could be out the game for 80 minutes and still do something. But, you know, that's one for us to get over and in behind. Malpai likes to keep the ball, quite a tall attacker, likes to keep it up front. He may play as a single attacker. Likes to lay off the ball, likes to give it to, like I say, Watkins, Canos, Lassa Vibe, people like that. Sawyers, who's another one who will burst through the middle. Good player. Um, you know, they've got some talent in that team. I'm surprised that they've had the season that, they, that they've had under Dean Smith. They had quite a good start to the year, and it's only really recently in the last month that they've kind of fell away from the promotion chasing pack. Again, we're not too sure, but... The will, like I say, the will play with width, and it's just a case of us keeping everything tight. As I've mentioned in the bars again, we're playing with width, but like I say, we want to try and keep them compact, really. There's no reason why we can't get a decent result there. As we know, if we score first, we don't get beat. I'm not jinxing us, so don't start writing in. Don't believe in all that. 
We've proved it this season. Again on Saturday, we went 1-0 up and we won. That's 14 times this season we've gone, <coughs> excuse me, we've gone ahead and kept that, kept that lead. These are really good stats. I'm not a big person for stats, but that is a kind of really important stat because I think as a team ment ment mentality and confidence, as soon as you we go goal up, we all kind of know that we're on the right road here. We don't panic much. I think really John Egan at the back for them, good centre back. He's somebody that, he's a very physical player. That'll probably suit us again. Bamford likes to back into players. Bamford's a physical player too. He likes that type side of the game. Likes to get stuck in. But, you know, there's no reason at all why we can't pick up a win. I personally think it'll be a tight game. I know I say this a lot on there, but they have a lot of goals in their team. They have goals from midfield, <coughs> excuse me, midfield, and also from the back. They do like a set piece. Dalgard, Barbier scores off set pieces quite a bit. I think he's got a couple this season. And also they've got an award-winning keeper, Bentley. <coughs> he's only a young guy, but he's just one keeper's keeper of the year, I believe, in the championship. Really talented player. Now, I don't know what that says really is that Dada getting a lot of shots on goal, is he doing more than he needs to? Or is it that just what he does, he does well? Again, let's be testing him. There's no reason why we can't be. So, for me... There's no reason, again, there's no reason why we can't get a big win there. I'm going to say 2-1 Borough. No, I'm not. I'm going to say 3-1 Borough and keep with this current trend of us scoring three goals. 3-1 Borough, I think they will score. Rob? Well, it's going to be a tight game, I think, one all there. Do you know what? one all might not be a bad shout, actually, Roberto. We've got a lot of teams playing each other this weekend that could actually do us a little bit of a favour. We've got, well, Fulham at home at QPR, so we've got a bit of a London derby there. Yeah, QPR have turned over Villa in the week, so there's no reason why they can't go there and get a result. Although I think Fulham are maybe out of our reach now. But, like I say, football's a strange, strange old game. We've got Bristol City at home at Whipswich, and Whipswich got beat again last week at home. Bristol City have been up and down recently, haven't they? They've kind of lost away since Christmas. That's probably going to end up a draw. We've got Sheffield United at home at the Forest. So we're looking at Karanka doing us a job there. We all know what type of a team Karanka puts out. He's going to go there and be really solid, really tight. So again, that could be a draw, maybe even a win. And we've also got Preston at Sunderland. Now, we all know the Sunderland situation. And without, again, being sort of clever about this, Sunderland really, really, really need these points now. They can't afford a draw. So that could work out in our favour. And the other team that's the kind of surprise package of the season with a manager that I really rate, Harris, Millwall. So, Millwall actually are playing Barnsley. So, it's at Barnsley. Now, Barnsley, again, are in the same situation as Sunderland. They really need a win, especially after us turning them over. So, could Millwall go there, get beat, 1-0 maybe? It could happen. We know how fickle this league is, especially for when teams are putting runs together at this time of the year, which is, again, why our run's been so effective at this time of the season. So, one all might not be a bad result. I'm going to stick with my 3-1. And hopefully the, band, the, the bandwagon marches on, keeping us, keeping us moving on to the promised land. So, thank you for watching. I'm Foxy. That's Rob. One other thing I need to tell you about is there's two season tickets to win for next year. It's competition. You all know about this by now. But to get involved and win these tickets, you need to get onto our uh, site. You need to like, share and subscribe us on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook. But you need to become one of our followers, guys. It's dead easy to do. Just get on the Borough Fan TV site and, and, and hook up and have a chance of winning those tickets. But, listen, thanks for tuning in. Let's hope it's another big positive win tomorrow. I've been Foxy. That's been Rob. Peace out, guys. Whoever you are, wherever you are. Up the Borough.